Hi everyone, my name is Cindy and today I'm going to teach you how to make your own customized Photoshop brush, specifically the customized brush that I've made for my own illustrations. And yeah, let's just get into it. <laughs> All right. Things first, we're going to go to File, New, and we're going to create a new document. So Custom, you want it to be 8 inches by 8. Make sure resolution is 300. So we're going to click Create. First thing you want to do is unlock your background layer. So we just click, double click the empty space here. Press OK. And we're going to make a new layer. And we're just going to click the little plus sign that's over here. There we go. Now we're going to go to the brush tool. This is it, this little icon. Just click that. And then over here. Now, we're going to choose the default brush that Photoshop comes with. Um, so you don't have to download any brushes or anything, nothing fancy. We're just going to use what Photoshop comes with. So what I like to use is the chalk brush. Um, I'm going to choose the chalk 36 pixels, right? I'm going to show you how that looks without um, adjusting the brush settings. So let's just go ahead and let's make that bigger so we can see it. <laughs> there we go. And ta-da! I mean, it's not bad, right? But we want to add more um, effects to it, change the settings a bit to make it um, like more painterly like, if that makes sense. So how do we change the settings? We're going to go to brush settings here. If it's not here, because it's possible that you don't have it on your toolbar here. So we just go to window, brush settings, and ta-da, it opens. <laughs> So now that we have the brush settings open, we're going to go to Shape Dynamics. Just click that, right? And we're going to, because I'm using a Wacom tablet and I'm going to use, I'm using a pen, we're going to just hit Use Pen Pressure. And you see how it changed. Both ends are now pointy. So, you see? I hope that sort of changed the way it functions now. Now both ends are pointy. <laughs> so I don't want that so I'm gonna I want it to actually have a wider width like how it usually is so I'm just gonna increase the minimum diameter to let's say 85 85 is good yeah I think it's fine and next I'm gonna choose the dual brush so I actually like textures in my work and so I want to choose another brush that we can combine with the one that we already have. So you could just play around with the brushes that Photoshop, you know, has. Maybe you have brushes that you downloaded already. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and choose a very rough brush because I want that roughness. Okay, that's one. Ooh, it's like smoke. <laughs> like leaves oh that's speaking um i'm just gonna go down this list and yeah, you can just play around with what you have um i think this is the one. yes i actually like the look of this one so i'm just gonna do a quick line here there we go all right so here's the mode right now it's on color burn but i actually want to change that to multiply and here's why i'm going to show you the difference it has a much softer look to it and the reason I want that softer look is to build up that layer so now as I go on top of it right every stroke it's like going from light to dark so I want that effect right? and you could also play around with the sizing of the texture right do you want it more grainy um, also the spacing right just sure <laughs> thoughts right so what is, I don't want that much spacing in the sizing I actually prefer it to be no let's see I think that's fine maybe a little bit more you could also play around with the count whatever you 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 could just play around with the settings to your liking and now I'm just gonna go to transfer so you see how both ends the opacity it's like fading right the opacity lowered so 
when you do a stroke, both ends are faded. And I like that because you could just build up that effect. See? There we go. And so make sure your smoothing is on. And that's basically it for the brush that I, I usually make. Um, and make sure the most important thing of all, <laughs> don't forget, you have to save the brush or else um, it won't be in your brush, you know, the brushes. Because, um, you know, that, that sort of happened to me. <laughs> so just make sure to just click here and name your brush. So I wanted to name it Chucky Brush. <laughs> all right. There, you know, it's like chunky. <laughs> um, see, so spot the chunky. There we go. I mean, chunky. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Do whatever you want. <laughs> um, so yeah. Now, when you go to your brush, it should be like down here. See, chunky brush. All right. So now I'm gonna create an artwork using the chunky brush. So I'll be right back. It. I hope you guys learned something and yeah, just go out there and experiment in Photoshop with the settings and everything to your liking um, And yeah, and that's basically it. So thank you for watching and have a wonderful day Bye. <laughs> Testing, 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 testing.